So you've left your narcissist and you still want to go back. You still have these thoughts and feelings of, I love this person. This person was like someone that we really connected. We really engaged. We really were like soulmates. We we're soul ties. We we're these kindred spirits that are just meant to be. And you have this draw and you have this feeling of wanting to go back. Sometimes it feels like it's crazy. Sometimes it feels like you're just going insane with the thought and the concept that you can't live your life apart from the narcissist. And over a period of time, you'll start to doubt yourself. You'll start to question. You'll start to wonder, why am I even thinking this way? Like, if I really think about it, this relationship was really toxic. It was really bad. Like, this person yelled at me. They raged out at me. They had road rage. They like screamed at me in the car and in the house, in front of the kids, in front of our friends and family. Like, why would I want to go back to that? And oftentimes people get confused with that and they get frustrated and they start wondering and start doubting themselves of maybe I was the problem. Maybe there was something inside of me that I should have changed. Maybe I wasn't good enough. Maybe. If I would love the person better, then they would have still been here. Maybe if I would have put out more, then they wouldn't have gone and cheated. Maybe I needed to adjust my tone. Maybe I needed to adjust my approach. Maybe I needed to go to counseling with them. Or maybe I should have stuck with counseling longer. Or maybe it just was all my fault. And at the end of the day, all these doubts and all these thoughts tend to pile up and they tend to build themselves in our brain to a place where you start to wonder Maybe you were the problem. See, that's what happens in a toxic relationship with a relationship with a narcissist is their goal is to look out for themselves. And whenever they're in the process of lying, gaslighting, manipulating, and someone starts bringing awareness to that and they might get caught or they might get called out. Step one is typically to gaslight the other person, to make them feel crazy for believing the truth to make them feel crazy for saying, hey, I just saw you do this. And the, and the narcissist is like, no, you didn't. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, that did not happen. Convincing someone that an actual, physical, real life event that happened, never happened, is often what a narcissist will do. It creates chaos, it creates confusion, it creates frustration. And slowly over time, gaslighting, manipulating, and lying starts placing a lot of bonds around another person. Now when I'm talking bonds around another person, I'm talking about the things that that person believes about themselves or the relationship that are not true. These develop into what we call trauma bonds. Trauma bonds where you're attracted, where you want to go back, and where you want to be involved with someone that you know or that you're thankful that you've left, but that pull is still there. These are these people like are referred to of those kindred spirits, of these soul ties, of like people that really want to go back. A twin flames, that's a popular one that gets tossed around now, of like, this was my person. But all these things add up and you're like, maybe I'm the problem. Maybe I was wrong. See, as a narcissist, that's what I want you to believe. I want you to believe that you're the problem, not because you are the problem, because you're not. I want you to believe that you're the problem because I created that scenario in your mind. I created the concept in your mind that you're not good enough, that you're not pretty enough, that no one's going to date a mom with a child, that no one is going to be with you, that you don't deserve love, that you're not capable of that, that you're too old, that you're too fat, that you're too ugly, whatever it might be. A narcissist is going to come and is going to put those bonds on you, building a trauma bond. They'll slowly build over a period of time. They'll put you up on that pedestal, then they'll cut you down, then they'll put you up, then they'll cut you down, and then after a while, all they have to do is just keep cutting you down. And you'll start to believe the things that they've said. One of the biggest things that a person will start to believe is just this one simple fact, that it was all your fault. Let me tell you right here and right now, it's not all your fault. But that narcissist will want to twist it around and make you believe that it's all your fault. As a result, you'll start developing more and more feelings for a person you love that didn't exist. You'll start developing feelings and emotions for a person you thought cared when they didn't at all. 
And over a period of time, you start getting that pull, even after you've left the narcissist. It's almost like a magnet. It's almost like an addiction that's drawing you back to the person. You're like, why the heck do I want to go back to this person when they've lied, abused, cheat me, all these different things? Why do I want to go back? It's because of that trauma bond. It's because of those lies. It's because every single time they say those lies, they put a rope around you and cinch it tight saying, you're going to stay stuck to me because I'm in control of your worth. The narcissist or the toxic person in your life is not in control of your worth. You are in control of that. And you are worth so much more than any narcissist can ever put you up to. But we have to work on breaking those. We have to work on breaking those lies that happen every single day that have gotten to the place that they have weaseled their way into your mind that you're actually thinking that you're the cause, that you're actually thinking you're the problem when you didn't do anything at all. Or maybe what you suffered from was reactive abuse and the person drove you to the edge and that's why you yelled back. But that's not you. That's not actually what happened. So with these bonds, with these crazy feelings of, I want to go back to the person, you have to start breaking them. You have to start thinking, how do I break that bond? So it could be the idea of thinking that you're not good enough. Okay, why aren't you good enough? Well, I don't think I'm good enough because the narcissist didn't, didn't show love and affection. Okay, why didn't they show love and affection? Well, they were consumed about themselves and they never really showed it at all. They never really tried. Okay, why didn't they try? Was it anything that you could have done differently? No, I changed X, Y, and Z all the time, but it seemed like the goal was always moving. It seemed like it was never good enough. Okay, so it, every time you perform to their level of expectation, the goal changed. So with what you're doing, was there anything you could have done that would have made them happy? No, because that goal was always changing. The level of expectation was always moving. Okay, so then looking at that, what are the facts about it? Regardless of what you would have done, the narcissist would have never been happy or satisfied with you because the focus is not on you, the focus is on them and what they get out of the relationship. Understanding these simple truths and these simple lies that have been put on you to be able to get to the place where you realize, hey, this is the original statement, this is the actual statement of what's going on. When you start learning how to work through those one, line by line, one by one, to a place where you can believe the truth based on the facts and based on what's actually happened, that's how you start to set yourself free. That's how you start to focus on growing yourself to be a better person that's free from trauma, that's free from the narcissist, that's free from the bonds that they've wrapped around you, and you can live a life that's healthy and living the best life you can possibly live. If you like what you see here, follow me. If you're listening on a podcast on Spotify, thank you so much for supporting. Uh, feel free to click the link to follow me or subscribe. Uh, ask questions on any of my videos. I'd love to hear back from people and get responses and stay tuned for more.